everyone and welcome to Magic Friday. My name is Jamie B. Grant and today we are going to be, uh, well actually, before we get to that, can I just, can I just say something here? You are all very lucky to have me. Nope. I know. Listen. Very lucky. You're very lucky to have me. And I'll tell you why. Because I go through all of this. And then once I go through all of that, I go through all of that. And I look at hours and hours of magic videos. And I'm reading. I'm reading like crazy, trying to find effects that will only go into your working repertoire. That's been the goal of Magic Friday for since day one, is that you can come on here, you can watch a video, read something, find something along the list that you know is gonna work. And I found something for this Friday that is awesome. It's awesome, and it was, it was kind of buried Buried in a book that you probably might not uh, not have had a chance to read, so I'm going to get to that in a second. I need the bag of shame. Remember the bag of shame? I need to bring that back because two Fridays ago was so terrible. Now you got to remember, I'm doing this for real people, right, all day long. So when something bombs, and sometimes things bomb, you kind of get the... But, you know, it was in your shoe, or, you know, or it was... You know, what? What? You... There was 19 of them, obviously. You know, it's t it's terrible. It, it breaks my heart. But I, I like to try new things, things that I might not normally do. And when, of course, that happens, I resort to my old standby of, oh, that's, don't worry. Yeah, that was just a joke. Here, <laughs> put your hands like this. So, this week was a success, which makes me happy. And what it was, it was a trick buried in this book. The Magical Arts Journal by Mike Lamar, who is awesome, obviously, and Adam J. Flesher, who I'm guessing is also awesome. I don't know him too well, but... The Magical Arts Journal was a complete resource for those looking for the work and money in magic. That was the pitch. It's an old periodical, I believe. I'm not sure what years it was published. The book just came out in 2010, but the periodical uh, was from 1985. It looks like so it's I love that kind of stuff where it's you know we're talking 25 years I'm officially old all of a sudden um, yeah and it's still relevant today and the trick that I'm going to show you right now was buried in the middle by Martin Gardner uh, God rest his soul a brilliant man uh, beautiful man beautiful man and this is something in there so we've all done the arm twist right you know the whole we've all done it who hasn't? Everyone's done it. If you haven't done it, you've probably seen it. Anyway, I've always been looking for a follow-up because nowadays sometimes people can, you know, kind of know what's going on or they might have, you know, this is suspect. So I'm always looking for something to follow it up with. And this is what I found in this book, Magic Watch Journal. Put your hands like this. Put your right hand over your left. Grab on. Put your hands like this. Put your fingers up like, hello, fingers. Hello. Put the nail beds to your nose, not in your nose. Put them to your nose, and I'll do as I do. One, two, three. That's what I'm gonna do. What the audience does is this. Put your hands together. Put your right hand over your left and grab on. Put your hands like this, put your fingers up. Da, da, da. Don't put your fingers in your nose, blah, blah, blah. Put them there, and try. And you can't, your hands are locked. Whereas I, bam, awesome. Love it. I love it. Uh, that book will tell you how, what, what, makes the, uh, what makes them do their version, you do your version. And it's flawless. It's absolutely flawless. I actually have a tip or so if you've, uh, if you've got the book. I, I've got a little further explanation onto uh, what makes it work 100% every time, and it does, which is fantastic. And yeah, I love it. I love that. Is it magic? I believe yes. Anytime I can do something that they cannot, I believe that's magic, you know? When, I, uh, when I'm able to pull off my thumb and they have no idea, huh? They have no, no, ow, how does it come up? That's magic. Sometimes, you know, it's a little bit less, sometimes it's a little bit more. This kind of stuff, I absolutely love. Body magic for me is priceless especially do as you do kind of things because I'm not trying to make anyone look foolish I never want that to happen 
Uh, a little tip for the old hand twist is I always do it uh, side by side with someone and whenever I go one, two, three, put it up here, I immediately bump them. I know that sounds a little bit weird, especially if you're in a suit and tie, but it just means like, hey, we're just having fun, right? And that's the goal for this kind of stuff. I don't want them to make, be, make people feel stupid. So this kind of thing is perfect because in my walk around sets, which I'll be using it in my working repertoire, I'm going to have, you know, eight, ten people, whatever, four people, you know, like this which is a great image, you know, when you see eight, ten people in a group dressed beautifully with their hands and their fingers to their nose, that's the image I want because it says, we're having a good time and I'm awesome. That's what that says, by the way. If you ever see it, it says that Jamie's awesome. It says we're having a good time and we're just kind of loose, right? So yeah, I love it. And it was, I never in a trillion years, I've never seen it before. I've never seen anyone do it. I've never even heard about it. I was just reading, and bam, there it was, Martin Gardner. The official title is, just so I can give you official titles, Finger Nose Do As I Do from the Magical Arts Journal. Yeah, I love it. I love these books. I love this kind of stuff, like Magical Arts Journal, Apocalypse. I love the old, you know, uh, the old periodicals that are, that are compiled together. Because it's just, how much knowledge is in there? I mean, we talk about one-trick DVDs, and to be honest, I don't mind one-trick DVDs. If I can find one effect that works for me, rock and roll, I'm happy to have it. But, I mean, how many one-trick DVDs are in there? What? A hundred? Thousand? Million? I mean, it's tons. You know, you can buy one of these books for, I don't know how much, I'm sure it's somewhere. Check out Murphy's for a price, probably. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you, this could last you all summer. You know, you could go through a now or in fall. You could go through this whole thing. There you go. Do as I do. Reminded of fall, my Said Wonder campaign has wrapped up. Not really. It's continued. Bam! For Christmas. We're writing a book. It's going to be released on Christmas. So there's some things to look into for that. And I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be heading to Europe to have some uh, croissants. <laughs> Is that how you eat a croissant? I'm having croissants eh, and some café, may we? And I'm going to London. Hey, mate. So I will not be here for a month. You will see me in, uh, not in two weeks, but in four weeks, and hopefully I will have some brilliant footage of some stuff to show you. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching Magic Friday. I, uh, I appreciate all your patronage. Thanks for watching. It takes a long time to do these things, so it's great to know that people watch and leave comments. I'm out of here. My name's Jamie D. Grant. Thanks for watching Magic Friday. I got something to tell y'all. And you know it ain't no fun. Somebody's nose is open. And it looks like...